possible. So uh, in recognition of today's African Union uh, Africa Day, it's good to talk about the opportunities from digital Africa. Uh, just presenting to you the uh, the data sets and now going specifically to the sustainable development goals. So with Earth Observation, we can look at uh, food security, uh, goal number two, uh, goal number six on water, nine on innovation, uh, 11 on cities, 13 on uh, climate action, 14 on life in water and 15 life on land. So those respectively, uh, the, team, the technical team has been working very hard. I think this is where Edward is really uh, he put most of his time in helping us develop these notebooks. Uh, we have notebooks on agriculture, uh, water, uh, vegetation, urbanization, land degradation, coastal and marine, and also opportunities for us to customize more notebooks like the coastal erosion, which our partners from Senegal are working in terms of validation of coastal erosion. So this SDGs notebook, I'll be able to show you shortly. It gives us a summary. It has been put together by Edward and the team, uh, acknowledging Vivian. Uh, they have looked at the, all the data sets and the literature, also including at uh, uh, references from the Committee of Earth Observation. And uh, in reference to SDGs, this is very important for us to see how we can respond together as a, as a nation. So looking at goal number two, we have these notebooks, uh, very useful tools, uh, also recognizing the cropland, which was developed by implementing partners, uh, BACO, Agrimet, uh, CAC, uh, we have OSS in Tunisia, we have RCMRD, and also uh, other partners uh, who are involved in validation, including our very own team, Edward and team. They used the collector tool to validate the cropland which is available for us to use. Then we have the crop health, which gives us an overview. I'll be able to show you an example, the phenology notebooks and so on and so on, including even the radar one, uh, which we can use, including the climatology. And also here we, uh, we were able to develop a use case with Stella on how to uh, support coffee production in Kenya, which I'll be able to share with you the slides. And the goal number six, this has been very useful, uh, where we've been monitoring what extent and water quality. So the water quality uh, initially was using water observation from space and now looking at uh, chlorophyll here, we're able to use Sentinel-2 and I think uh, Fatu is using this for Senegal, uh, like, like Gus, uh, looking at the water quality changes. Uh, also on the other parts, we have the water extent where we've worked with Dr. Kilobogi to develop the water extent for Lake Ngami, a use case which we've developed. And also uh, Baku is developing something on Lake Chad, a very useful resource for our partners and many, many, many more opportunities, including the wet uh, land too. I'll be able to show you some examples, then we'll look at the, all the summaries. At goal number nine, we're able to present uh, something on urbanization using Sentinel, urban index and etc cetera, etc cetera. this is similar to what we have at uh, goal number 11 on uh, urbanization and working closely with colleagues from UN habitat who are the custodian of this uh, important uh, goal uh, leaving no one behind so here we have uh, urban classification uh, using uh, our own, uh, this we're using Landsat uh, Sentinel-2, looking at urbanization in Gulu. It was a very good use case uh, working in Uganda. And also we have recently a notebook which helps to present urban area map in using Sentinel-1, which was presented by Agrimet in the uh, uh, AFIGIS in the recent training, as well as uh, Agrimet. So we also have goal number 13, uh, where we're looking at urban area mapping, burnt area mapping and also identifying ships with Sentinel-2 as well as coastal erosion. Goal number 14, looking at mangrove extent. I'll be able to show you the example of the Zanzibar. And 15, looking at uh, la forest cover changes and other indicators like the land degradation 5.3 and so on and so on. So looking at some of these use cases, we've worked with every one of you as our implementing partners to document some of these use cases in different countries, including the services that we are planning to develop. So one of them was something on wetlands, urbanization, uh, uh, chlorophyll, uh, looking also at uh, mapping for, uh, forest uh, mountain cover, uh, conservation, and also many, uh, including also coastal erosion and 
working at least in these various countries and working together with our partners to create more impact. So this one was a use case by Stella on uh, coffee production in uh, central Kenya, where she was able to submit this for a pitch for farming by satellite price. And she was able to document the changes, including the start of a season, end of a season, and this is possible using the DE Africa. Also, we're looking at uh, crop land vegetation condition. You can be able to focus this. So this is an example of palm farms in Kikoma in Tanzania, where our colleagues from National Bureau of Statistics in Tanzania, including Martha, who is in this call, have been able to use the tool to show some changes and compare this with NDVI forecast. It's very important. Uh, also working with Dr. Kilabugi in Lake Ngami in Botswana, she was able to document the use case. Uh, also, the photo here is one of her field trips where she's been able to go and take photos at different seasons uh, just as a validation. And this is very important to empower our own researchers in Africa. Uh, looking also uh, in this example of Tanzania, where the National Bureau of Statistics were using this to map uh, Lex Lunga, we can see various changes which can be used to communicate with policymakers, even a time where there's drought, time when there's an overflow, uh, working together with the community to sensitize them of the dangers of climate change. Uh, also on the same using, uh, uh, looking at Lake Tanganyika in Tanzania and comparison with other lakes, uh, we're able to see how you can map the water extent and compare this with the rainfall data from CHAPS in the Digital Earth Africa available for comparison. Then also we have the wetland inside tool, the same example of Lake Sulunga, showing the variation of time and looking at this the chart, you can see times when there has been drought and times there's been overflow. So the, you can see at the recharge of the lake and the times when it's dry and work closely with the community to sensitize more on the conservation and those safe areas of living and, and agricultural activities. Uh, looking at urbanization in uh, Uganda, we were able to use uh, the notebook. Uh, this is uh, Dr. Jane and a colleague from uh, institution in Kampala. We were able to use this to see how we can provide impactful analysis within a short time for assessment. And this is possible with the support from our own team here. You can be able to do more for your own cities and we can also use your feedback to improve the tools that we have. Also looking at the one of the interesting uh, stories in uh, conservation of mangroves, uh, working together with Dr. Kairia at the State University of Zanzibar to map the mangroves. There's a notebook of the same. Uh, we were able to create a very useful documentary with our partners, Amazon Web Services. And this you can see empowering our researchers, young women, uh, leaving no one behind in Africa. Uh, also uh, an example from our colleagues from Tanzania, have been able to see how you can map the coastal erosion. And this is just a simple notebook, which is similar to what our colleagues at uh, uh, CSE in Senegal are doing for Dakar and the coast of Senegal to see the impact and how you can work with the communities to do more validation of this amazing product. And I think in a few months or weeks, we'll be having a continental coastal erosion for Africa. This would be a, a game changer uh, for Africa continent. Uh, the other part was uh, how you can monitor water quality uh, using Sentinel-2. This was a story from Eric Ganga from RC Maradi, Nairobi, uh, showing how you can provide critical information for policymakers in the changes of these uh, water bodies, which uh, using Sentinel, you can provide impactful analysis and summaries. And finally, looking at this amazing story of uh, conservation of uh, giraffes. Uh, the Lake Baringo in Kenya was overflowing and these giraffes were living somewhere in the middle of the island. So they had to be rehomed to a suitable area where there's enough pasture. So working with Mohamed Shibia from a conservancy agency in Kenya, we were able to provide these assessments. And these were shown in this uh, diagram where you present the vegetation analysis situation over time and they could see uh, areas where they can uh, improve the conservancy and uh, people can live uh, in peace with the wildlife as well as what they do their, uh, had their animals. Uh, finally, looking at mountain snow cover, this is uh, uh, an interesting uh, uh, use case developing and I think there's an index which uh, Edward is helping us develop for looking at mountain cover 
is this is for snow and also there's another one for looking at the green cover on top of our mountains of which edward can add more information on the same uh also we have the learning platform which most of you have been able to go through uh here you'll be able to receive a certificate of completion just as robert has mentioned just go through this material and also you can connect with us every wednesday and i wish now to take you to the uh, notebook so that we can see all these examples as uh, we wait for any question uh edward do you have an idea of when the the mountain is uh, that one that will be available uh we, can, uh we are still in the early stages trying to get uh most of the data ready so hopefully before uh middle of june you will actually get it ready thank you so much edward so i was trying to zoom in so that we can look at these uh, notebooks together so all these uh, notebooks are available in the sandbox this just is a very good summary that i was going through I was able to create a small uh, snapshot of the same for us to see uh, some examples that we can look at, including uh, crop health, uh, cropland extent, uh, looking at the various indicators. Uh, all these are available here. The best thing about this, if you click on it, it will take you to the exact notebook. So this is quite a game changer, which also explains what's going on in the background. So also as it opens, you can actually see more information about this particular notebook. Uh, the information and example, and also you can choose to go back uh, to the main uh, to the main notebooks with the old references. So for us, this will be a very good tool for uh, giving summaries uh, as we communicate with our end users. So I've put the link to the notebooks, and I've also uh, made the link to this presentation uh, if you need to use it for communication with other stakeholders. And also taking you to the sandbox, you can see all these notebooks are available. And also the notebook on the same is also here uh, in the sandbox. So you can also open it here and it's under folder called SDGs. And this is the notebook of the indicators. Uh, you can go at each and see, you can click on even one and it will take you to the exact one. So this global route looks at the soil moisture, very useful for tracking agricultural activities. Uh, you can choose to discard or save. Uh, you can go to another one and open. Uh, it's very easy for us to have one reference uh, when we're communicating with our partners, very useful. So the vegetation phenology, uh, this one we presented it uh, earlier this year, which uses Sentinel-2, and it uses the reference of our cropland. Here is where you change, either it's a Sahel, or whichever region, and you can choose to go through and to give you an overview of uh, phenology based on the start of a season. And I believe back of from agreement, they're using a similar tool to look at the crop productivity uh, in Burkina Faso, as well as uh, using other references for validation, including the ACA tool that they're using uh, in partnership with our partners. So I wish to pause here for any question. Uh, I wish to pause here in case there's any question you can ask, or you can ask if this specific notebook you want us to go through. Otherwise, uh, this was more on sensitization of what we have, uh, including the this very new tool for SDGs, which summarizes everything for us here. And our team is working very hard to improve this glossary. And just as Edward added, we are trying to develop this uh, mountain uh, green cover index, which is a very useful for checking the green cover on some of our mountains. Uh, I think uh, it's been borrowed from other algorithms. So we are very grateful for this uh, open data that we can actually borrow from other platforms. Uh, we also have the one for mining, uh, it's available here or you can look at the effects of mining for a specific area. So uh, the cost of erosion, it's also available in the, 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 the real world examples. I can just open one, which I had just performed recently. 
and you can see it looks at the coastal erosion for any particular area and also i know uh, my colleague uh joseph and uh, fatu they presented on the coastal erosion for dakar including the validation with various partners so all these uh, tools are here for us to use and we value your contribution in improving them so recently uh, fatu is working on lack gas looking at the water quality and uh, this is what she's been able to do very much uh, looking at lake gas is a very important water body for senegal and uh, looking at the various indices we're able to generate a very good product uh, looking at the graph it's indicative of times when the quality was down and when it's okay uh, over the water body and we're able to see in reference over time and uh, we can work with various partners to inform them uh, I think also in Senegal, they have an SDG body where they work together and working together with other partners to provide other information. So please let me know if there's any question or intervention. Uh, ours is to make sure that you go all through all these notebooks as a summary. And that's why we've created this SDG notebook for us to be able to have a reference. And also we can add any reference as required. So any comment for us or would you like to see any particular tool or intervention? Also recognizing that today is uh, Africa Day uh, is that we recognize uh, your contribution to making our work uh, where we've reached so far. It's because of your partnership and and also your commitment to helping us that uh, we take this platform to the whole continent. Uh, so I'll play a small video just to show you the extent of the, the Africa Day as we wait for any question from any of the partners. Mm -hmm. 